Today morning, the country woke up to the news of the break-in of the offices of the Mama Mbabazi's lawyers, Mohamed Mbabazi and Fred Mwema in Kololo and Wandegea, respectively. The lawyers, and indeed Mr. Mbabazi, claimed that the important documents, including 150 evidence that are due to be submitted in the Supreme Court as evidence of malpractices by President Chowri Museveni in the just-concluded presidential campaigns and elections, were stolen. But according to police, this is baseless and has no basis of argument. The Uganda Police Force has learned of allegations of office breaking and theft to the go forward the legal offices. What we, what we resent is how the politicians, and in particular, Council Mohammed Mbabazi, are going around saying it is the police responsible for the breaking. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, Hassan Kasinja, says it's too unprofessional to pitch the police at such a time when they have no evidence to clarify this information. Kasinja says that the lawyers should have consulted the force first since the matter is subject to investigation rather than feeding the public with false information. It's not helpful at this stage for anybody to start insinuating that the police broke into office premises. He says that the Inspector General of Police, Janokari Kaihura, has instituted a, a team of police detectives chaired by the Director of Special Investigations Unit at Chireka, Mark Odong, to find out who could have been behind the burglary that led to the loss of the alleged documents. But the commander as well says that the, if the lawyers continue to pin the police in this matter, they will be addressed in courts of law. And he calls for professionalism among the lawyers, especially when disseminating information about the office breakthrough. This composite team has been put there to actively and thoroughly investigate the breakings and, and as quickly as possible provide the findings. Not only to the go forward team, but also to the public as soon as it is finalized. 